Hey guys, welcome back with our letter V. I can't believe we made it through the alphabet this far. We're on our letter V today with Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. So I really hope you enjoyed that illusion that we watched um, with the starry night. Hopefully you were able to see those stars moving in the sky. So we are looking at our starry night tonight. This is painted by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. And um, we're gonna start here with the tree. So this is called a cypress tree. So hopefully you have your paper ready. I'm gonna draw in this direction just so I can fit everything in my landscape this way. You can pick and choose and also pick and choose what it is that you'd like to use to uh, create your work today. Maybe it's crayons, colored pencils. Maybe today you want to work with the computer program that we've been working with um, called Sumo Paint. If you use Sumo Paint, um, have fun, start with your background, and then add your tree. All right, so we're going to get started with, it's called a cypress tree, and it's sort of like, they say, uh, they call it like a wiry tree, so there's no wrong way. I'm going to start with these little, kind of, they look like branches coming out, and they're just sort of bent like triangles till I get up to the top, and I'm going to make one pointy one, so this whole shape here is going to be like the shape of a triangle. And then as I come down on this side, I'm going to go out towards that way. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it down. And again, there's no wrong ways of creating this tree. Some people even think it's a building. So once you have your tree, if you'd like to, you can start to add some lines inside the tree. And the lines are just to show texture. Uh, Mr. Vincent Van Gogh, as we learned, likes to show lots of texture. He likes to use bold, heavy colors, and he also likes to use um, bright colors. So I'm just going to add a couple lines just to flow with the direction of the tree. Kind of looks like fire or flames. It reminds me of fire right there. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a horizon line. So from behind the tree, and I'm going to start, I'll start right about here. And maybe about just less than halfway up the paper, take a spot of the tree and just draw a line that comes across. It could be a little wavy. So go from this side of the tree all the way to the edge of the paper. And then we're going to take it from this side. I'll try to match it up over here to go to this edge. There we go. I'm just going to darken up my tree while you catch up. All right, give you a second to, there we go, catch up with that wiry tree. And Mr. Vincent Van Gogh, he liked painting at nighttime and he would light candles and he would try to create or recreate that scene of the starry night. So our next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add some mountains. So the mountains, okay, are going to be going across the page. So this will be from up above the horizon line and you're gonna come down to a mountain side. So you'll trace, you got that line there. So I'm gonna make one mountain there. And you can make three mountains, you can make four mountains, it's totally up to you. You can make them connect. I can even go up and down any way you want. Make this one go over. Pick it up over here. And then one more right there. There you go, how many mountains you got, Chase? One, two, three. Chase has three on his. Sure. <laughs> All right, what's cool about them is that Starry Night was recreated and made in several different versions. So our next step here is let's go to the sky and let's make the moon. So we're going to go to the side. So I'm going to do my moon over here. If you have more space and want to do it over here or in this, uh, pick a side. I would say left or right. What we're going to do first is we're going to make a giant letter C. Okay, and that's for the first letter of Mr. Chase's name here. So put a C in the sky, and then we're going to come back and we're going to copy that C. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that crescent moon. So that means that I'm going to come real close, follow the shape of the moon, just like that. Okay, remember I kind of draw sideways or... So my lines get a little off, I do apologize. But that's what makes everybody's artwork fun and interesting. All right, Chase working on his C. 
All right, so while he works on his C, while you work on your C, uh, crescent moon's at home. What we're going to do next is make those stars. Mr. Vince Van Gogh makes those stars shine bright in the sky. So we're going to put some circles in the sky. We don't have to make the star shapes. If you remember from the uh, picture, most of these, we have the moon, we have the cypress tree, we did our hillsides, and we did some mountains. So what we're going to do next are those circles. So if you see one here. Here, you can put them anywhere you'd like. Let's see, Chase, how old are you? 11. 11, so maybe Chase has a goal to put 11 stars in his sky. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am because we would have a very bright sky. So what we're gonna do for this uh, stars here is just to make a couple circles. And we're gonna draw first and then we'll show some texture. So I'll do 11 with you, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and they could be big and small. Nine, ten. You're able to fit eleven in there. Eleven. We'll put one more there. We'll do twelve for good luck. All right. So it looks like snow falling down right now. A snowy scene. Perfect. All right. So what we can do next is somewhere in the middle of the sky. There's this wind, there's this motion that makes the illusion. If you remember at the beginning of our class today, we did that illusion of the starry night. So if we can add this wind, this little curve, it kind of reminds you of a number six. So if you go that way, we're gonna do two of those. So if you can, maybe just somewhere in the middle right in here, just make a line, kind of draw it like, maybe like it's like a six or a swirl. So I'm gonna put one there, and then I'm gonna put another one below it. So if you wanna draw more than one, you can draw more than one. I'm just gonna draw two here. It's like a little swirl line, just like that. And then I'm gonna to come to this side of the tree, and I'm just gonna let it flow back right there. So if you like that wind and that swoosh, in the sky, you can add more than one. I might actually add one more up here. I like that line. <laughs> a windy, snowy night right now, but it's called starry night. All right, so our last step before we add all of our textures to our starry night is to make our houses. Down below in the starry night foreground, right here in the foreground, there are, it's a city and it's a little town. There's a church, there's uh, some houses. So we can just draw some houses just by making a square. And if you wanna make, say if I wanna make, let's say I'll do three houses. You can make as many as you like. And I'll do, hmm, maybe I'll put one over here. And you could do more than three if you like. And then just give them a little rooftop, make it into a little house, triangle shapes. If you wanna get fancy and add a roof, I mean a chimney, I'm sorry. A door, maybe some windows, just using our squares and rectangles, you can do that. All right, so before we get into a little bit of color, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some texture. So let's get ready to do a little show before we show it with texture. Um, and texture is just using some lines and um, some shapes to give it some uh, sort of more dimension. So if you can, turn your camera on and share, and then we'll do some texture and we'll share our Pokemon pick of the day. All right, give it to me, boys and girls, on three, two, one, show. Let's see what you guys have. Very nice. And right now it does. It looks like fire. If we were to paint that or make that yellow, red, and orange. All right, so what we're going to do real quick is just show a couple of lines for texture. So we're going to start in these mountain sides right here. And what I want you to do is I just want you to draw a couple lines just following the original line of the mountain. So if I just take that hillside and I just add... So go ahead and add just a couple lines real quick, Chase, in there, and then, so in your mountain. So they're in the middle ground of the page. Something important with Mr. Van Gogh is texture. 
So there's our mountains. And then if you finish with the mountains, what we can do next is we're going to just do a couple things in the sky and then we'll be all done and ready for color. So with the sky, right around where these stars are in these circles, all I want you to do is to make little marks. So if I pick this star right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm just going to draw a couple lines and maybe just go around it like twice. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're just gonna go around the stars. Okay, just like that. To make it appear as if they are glowing. So if I show you this right here, those stars are glowing. So just giving them a little ring around the outside. All right, so why I finished this, and while I put a couple more textures throughout my landscape here, and my starry night, Chase, you wanna tell them what our Pokemon pick of the day is? Remember, we are on our letter V. So Chase, if you're ready to give us that Pokemon card, you can tell us who it is. I'll add a couple more. Venusaur. He has the health of 180 and deals 90 damage. Venusaur. Very nice. And that is a pretty card. What is that? A green? Is that a grass type energy? Mm -hmm. All right. So as we continue to work on some texture and then you can start to put into uh, the color when you're ready, um, fill it in around the stars, around the grass, and it's just adding little lines around the drawing shapes and spots that are already there. So just making those stars glow. And remember, whatever you wish to use for color, um, have fun with it, boys and girls. And let's say I'll maybe just add a little line right here, right about where the houses are. And then I'll stop there. All right, so make sure that you share when um, we count down and when we share during our class time today. Uh, and make sure that your camera comes on, boys and girls, so that way I can see what you guys have at home. All right, so hopefully you had fun with our V, Vincent Van Gogh, and our Starry Night. All right, you want to hold yours up real quick, Chase? And then we'll sign you guys off. No? Go ahead. Yeah, let's hold it up. All right, so there you go. A couple uh, different examples, different ways of doing it. Hold up a little bit higher, Chase. There you go. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.